Hey, what's up, holy people? Uh, YouTube. So, uh, thought I'd show you guys my uh, 10 inch tablet with the uh, Rhinium Extra Holy uh, Terminator. And uh, this is actually a great tablet for this uh, software. Um, even though I can do most of my stuff on this little 3.5 inch uh, touch screen, that's what I have in the car all the time. Sometimes I want to get a little bit more uh, detailed, like with the uh, fuel graphs and the bigger screen. And uh, more parameters. I don't normally drive around like this, you know, just because it's it's not. I mean, this thing, it, it I mean, I definitely wouldn't offer. This actually is a 1966 Bronco, and I definitely wouldn't off-road like this because it would be a uh, fall off in two seconds. But uh, one of the nice things about this tablet, you know, for uh, running like this uh, EFI software is that I have a. It has a full-size uh, USB uh, port. And not that many tablets do, so you have to specifically find a tablet that has a full-size USB port. Um, the nice thing about this is I can charge it at the same time that I actually have the uh, the ECU connected. So let me show you this real quick. So right now I have the key on. That's on, obviously. Um, yeah, actually I was having O2 sensors issues yesterday and freaking sputtered all the way home, man. So I got to figure out. I got to make my base fuel table better because uh, I mean this thing should be able to run fairly decent without an O2 sensor. So when that actually happened to me yesterday, it made me think that my base table was sucked or something because my O2 sensor was going in and out and this thing was sputtering like crazy. So running crazy rich. Like the O2 sensor went all the way to like 35. So um, don't know if I need a new O2 sensor or what, but I might get the newer NTK style one, the better one than the Bosch. But uh, yeah, I was actually up in the mountains when this happened too. I was on a dirt road. So, freaking nightmare, it's sputtering all the way back, but, okay, let's go, so I'm going to double click on the uh, version 4 software here, and what's funny is that with that little 3.5 touchscreen, you can do uh, ECU firmware updates, you can do just about everything that thing, it's, it's pretty cool, but uh, I'm going to download this from the ECU, okay, and sync, 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 so because of the issues I had yesterday with the O2 sensor going out, Today I'm going to focus on, uh, it's not going to be part of this video, this video is just to show you what it looks like on a 10 inch tablet, because um, I need to figure out this base fuel table, I need to make it smooth enough whereas I can run this thing without an O2 sensor, at least get home, you know, uh, without having to sputter like crazy all the way back. So, uh, okay, so, you know, if you're typical, I mean, I'm not sure if you ever mess with the software or not, but it's, it's not a video tutorial on how to do that, but yeah, I just want to basically, I'm going to copy my learn table the base and then I'm going to smooth it out a little bit and try to figure out if there's any weird rough, rough spots because it, it was wacko yesterday man okay um okay so I'll just show you a quick little you know it, so you can actually the cool thing about this tennis tablet is I actually had this stuff running on a, a smaller okay. a busy choir. but I actually had this on a 7 inch tablet before and what sucked is you couldn't see the whole screen it was it was the, the screen resolution was too small for it to show everything so with the 10-inch tablet, I can see everything. It's pretty nice, way better. Um, and I also have like a rubberized case on this thing. But you know, you just go through the sensors and you can, you know, just like the same software you have on a normal full-size laptop. This is a, has two gig of RAM and Windows 10 and has an Intel Atom processor, but, so it's not the fastest tablet, but, you know, I normally just use this for, for web browsing, so. So let's start this thing up. Okay, I'm gonna. Hopefully, uh, the thing will. It looks seems to be responding again. I, I took it out and I cleaned it a little bit with some like map cleaner. I know you're not supposed to clean O2 sensors, but I want to drive this for. I actually, I already have a new one ordered. NT. Well, it's not ordered yet, but it's. I'm, 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 I'm both my Amazon cart. I have the NTK and the Bosch. So why the fuck let's just flip around? That's a weird wacko camera. All right. Well, I mean, the camera just flipped by itself for some reason. Um, okay, so here we go. So, yeah, I mean, you have all the same functions. I mean, the car is running right now. You can see here. The cool thing is I can compare the values between here and here. But, uh, you know, the gauge cluster. Oh, actually, I, I resync this thing again. Okay. And why is it not sinking? Okay, let me close that again. show you an option of the gauge here. Oh, oh no. It's weird. I mean, 
uh, shut it off again here. Pull the USB cable out and put it back in. But uh, that's what the uh, gauge looks like, and I can kind of compare the two between there and there. But yeah, just uh, I couldn't find a way to transfer the uh, the learn table to the base table in this thing right here. So maybe there is. I just couldn't find it. But so I guess I'm trying to work out this base table because, like I said, it, it freaked me out with that O2 sensor failing and. I need to make this thing smooth, or at least drivable without the O2 sensor. So that's the goal here. So go here. You can see right where my throttle's at right now. That yellow thing moving around. And I already transferred my. I, I I transferred the table over and I smoothed it. It's still making some adjustments, and uh, I also. Uh, show you here. I, I, I put like an O2 sensor extension on the uh, thing because I was worried, uh, I was reading that uh, Danny Claybrill on the Holy uh, forums um, said that adding an extension can actually help with like uh, some kind of hydro hydro shock. I guess the moisture in the tailpipe hitting the, uh, the O2 tip of the O2 sensor and, and messing the O2 sensor up. Um, but uh, yeah, it was funny. Yesterday I, uh, I thought it was a map sensor. I, I couldn't figure out what the fuck was going on and uh, so I stopped at O'Reilly on the way back, sputtering all the way to O'Reilly. Yeah, I had my kid in the car with me too, man. That's where he sits in that chair right there. But, uh, freaking stressful situation. But, yeah, I spent $70 on, on an extra map sensor. You know, I was kind of, I thought it was a map. I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on because I was getting some weird map readings. So, alright, so, let me show you this OT thing real quick. But, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like with the, uh, tenant chalet. Pretty cool, huh? Back to the gauges. And, uh, yeah, I never use this tablet. This is really just for more advanced tuning. And target airflow ratios. And cool. Yeah, actually, I do a lot of this. is actually, this is definitely better than Mega Squirt. Like, the uh, the software interface. You know, uh, and versus Tun Tuner Studio with Mega Squirt. I think it's actually a lot more user-friendly. But, uh, cool. I was talking about right there. It's uh, this little extension. I actually had it drilled out so it would actually fit this O2 sensor, so the inside. Um, I'm gonna bring this cable up a little bit to the exhaust pipe, but yeah, originally it was going through there and it was getting like this, uh, like this small transmission leak here. So I gotta tighten the little these lines to get that leak stopped. But um, yeah, I guess this is for the if the tip is too far in, it's right in. I guess the stream of the. Uh, the possible moisture because I do get a lot of I should I live, live down here at the beach I don't know if that has anything to do with it but it's very humid down here um, but yeah every morning I get lots of condensation come out the tailpipes but I noticed that not really this is the first holy sensor that's kind of got crazy on me with the the terminator but I used to have a when I was carbureted I had an Innovate LC1 and I used to go through sensors all the freaking time with that but originally the sensor, the sensor was mounted up here but when I did the, I did put like a four-speed transmission conversion in this thing, and it's full drive. But it's yeah, it was it was hitting the sensor. It was too close to it, so I uh, moved it back a few inches. And uh, shitty weld, obviously. <laughs> but uh, all right, so I gotta get that wire out of the way. But uh, cool. Yeah, tablet's pretty cool. Ten-inch tablet. Yeah, definitely works better than the seven-inch tablet. So, so if you wanna use a tablet. To do this holy thing, I would definitely get a 10 inch. Actually, I tried it on an 8 inch tablet too, and that didn't work very good either. You know, those cheapo, like little 50, 60 dollar tablets. But uh, yeah, this this uh, Dell Venue 10 um, was probably about two. With the with the case, it was almost 300 bucks. So it's definitely, it definitely was a much more expensive tablet. But you know, it actually has that full USB, uh, full size USB uh, port, and I can charge it at the same time. So that's pretty cool. But um, all right, let me know if you have any questions.